Lou Dobbs says that his house has been shot at, his wife, his driver, uh, and I express some healthy skepticism of it. I said, really, somebody's going to shoot at your wife and you're just going to be kind of casual, mention it three weeks later on the radio, and then wouldn't there have to be bullets, right? If somebody shoots at your house, it's a pretty serious thing. I mean, maybe it's attempted murder. You said they shot at your wife. Jesus, right? I said, it seems to be taking it kind of lightly. I'm going to call uh, BS on this, right? Uh, and then I saw a news story uh, in the beginning of the day that said, uh, bullet found at Dobbs home. Somebody shot at Dobbs home. I was like, oh, come on here and do a, my bat because I'm not like the conservative guys. You get something wrong, you come out and you admit it. Who cares? We just want to bring you the truth either way. And I said, if it's true, it's obviously incredibly reprehensible, and I want to find the bullet so we can find out who shot it and arrest them. I mean, that's attempted murder. That's very, very serious stuff. Then uh, we saw an update on that story where the New Jersey State Police are a little dubious of the way that Dobbs has described the incident. Uh, reporters called uh, New Jersey State Police. They got Sergeant Stephen Jones on the line, who is the spokesperson in this case. On the phone, reporters said he chuckled out loud when asked about the Dobbs incident. He said that uh, he wouldn't classify it as very unusual, the gunfire, uh, and that it was the time of year that hunting, uh, hunter shooting complaints go up. Uh, New Jersey State Police spokesperson Julian uh, Castellanos clarified it is, quote, a wide open area and there are hunters in the area. The shot hit the vinyl siding of the attic and fell to the ground. It did not penetrate the house. So when you look into, now wait a minute now, so there was a shot, there was a bullet, right? The, his wife was outside, standing 15 feet away. Uh, on ground level, it hit the attic. Now, it could be a very, very bad shot, but you, they investigate it, of course, and they should, and they find out that it cannot be from a handgun or a shotgun, that it was from a long gun, and that it was shot from a very, very, very long distance, and they think it was an excellent chance that, as usual, in that area, that it was a hunting mistake. Now, that's bad, and they should find the guy anyway and be like, whoa, be, look where you're shooting before you pull a Dick Cheney, right? Or maybe Lou Dobbs was right, and it was a sniper in the woods, and he thought, I'll get it, but he was a terrible shot, and et cetera. Then let's find out. But right now, and the New Jersey State Police say, hey, look, he's a, this happens all the time in our area, but he's a public persona, so maybe, and we'll keep this, uh, this uh, case open, and we'll try to investigate it further. And then Lou Dobbs came out and was like, what are you talking about? You know, this is, uh, it wasn't even hunting season at the time just because he likes to make stuff up. So then they call the reporters, call the New Jersey State Police again, and they're like, yeah, it was totally hunting season. And they're in the exact area where they do the hunting. That's why we get these complaints all the time. Uh, and we'll follow it up. We'll follow it up. But come on, Lou, didn't you think that anybody would follow up? And they, I mean, look, it's such a serious thing if someone actually shot at your wife. You can't just say, oh, flippantly, oh, three weeks ago, somebody shot at my wife. And they didn't get her, but okay, then I just moved on. No, you knew it was a random hunting nonsense mistake, right? And then you try to blow it up so that you seem like a hero. Like, oh, I fought off these La Raza guys and Geraldo Rivera as they were shooting at my uh, house. And my, come on. It's, it's really sad. That's what it is. Yeah. It's just kind of amazing how everything goes into a war. Now, he said, this is a battle for our country. So you're waging war against who, unknown people and just putting it in people's minds. And you know, they shot at my house, and you guys know what I stand for. So guess who's shooting in my house? Guess who you should go after if you're on this side or that side? And he's just creating this whole situation just he because is? from any, from who knows what, from where, where anything. He, he took an opportunity, and now he's, I don't know, I'm, I'm not saying he's calling for violence, but he's pitting enemies now. He is, and he's saying, look, they shot at us first. And it's wholly irresponsible. I mean, really, Lou, shouldn't you, first of all, figure out with the state police, if you really thought somebody was trying to kill your wife, you waited three weeks before you reported it, and then now you kind of flippantly mention it, shouldn't you have investigated to see who was trying to murder your wife? I mean, this is so unbelievable, right? And so he knows it's 100% bullshit. And he goes out here and he tries to rile people up and say, well, look, they got their guns, you grab your guns. The implications are not hard to figure out. It's, it's a terrible way to go. And you know, it's funny that I'm going to say this, but uh, what respect I had for Lou Dobbs and 
you know, you could say there wasn't very much there to begin with. But, you know, we had a discussion with him on the show, and he made his points in, in ways that you can disagree with, but that seemed uh, intelligent uh, to some degree, right? And he insists that he's for legal immigration, but not, but he's against illegal immigration. Now, he doesn't seem to get the, the a actions that his words seem to bring about and the, and the picture that he's painting, but this is too far, right? So now we're not having an intelligent debate anymore when you're telling people about how somebody was trying to shoot at your house and, and rile people up in this, what I view to be a very dangerous way. So it's both a joke and very serious at the same time.